Hello everyone, uh, first off, I'm sorry that this is the best picture I could get for this, but finally, by now, I guess it's about time, but I'm going to say Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I just got it today. Um, I started a file and I played through a couple worlds, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Basically, I kind of forget the first few worlds, though, because of that. So, it should be decent. And I have to do this because the whole entire control of a one-player game is on the gamepad. And you have to, like, touching is the only thing that does anything. I'm pretty sure the buttons on the controller don't do anything whatsoever. So you can see I already have a file that's like 31%. Um, if there's like 100% bonuses and there's like collections and stuff, which you'll see, um, I might show those off if I get a 100% file at some point. But as of right now, we're going to go into file 2 and start a new game in story mode. So this is probably going to be the only mode that I cover and I'll try to keep videos to like 15 minutes. But it might just end up being like one or two levels, depending on how fast this first level goes. I'll see what I want to do with that, but right now we got a little bit of cutscene. And Kirby and Waddle do. And apples and butterflies and holes in the sky and such. See, this game actually doesn't have voicing, so... Yeah. It's really cool, though, the claymation things they did with this. I don't know for sure if this is actual claymation or if it's just animated to look like claymation. But the way that the game plays, I feel like it's more actually claymation. So we got frozen. All the color is gone from the world and a little paintbrush comes into the closing hole getting chased by some hands you really don't learn the names of anything it just happens so paintbrush is actually a little fairy gonna paint Kirby and Waddle do back to life and Kirby gonna save her, like Kirby does. And Wild Dude gonna do some stuff like Waddle Dude does. So, um, yeah, explaining that you gotta go help her, but Kirby just wants an apple. <laughs> I just find that funny, this one part especially, it's like, okay, I gotta do this, it's what's right. It's like, Waldo immediately agrees, but Kirby's like, what the apple? I feel like at the end of this, Kirby's gonna eat an apple, that's gonna be the finale. Alright, so we're going to space or whatever, yeah, I guess it's space, okay. We're in space, we're on a rainbow, going into level one, I guess, dash world one. What was it, Green Valley? Okay, so the adventure begins, here we go. Now, I'm pretty sure what happens on the TV is the exact same thing that I see, but I'm not exactly sure. I forget if it, okay, it does show me the control, okay, yeah, it shows everything. So this first stage isn't, like, much. It's just telling you, like, the controls and such. And we're gonna quickly go through this introduction stuff. Alright, so this explains that you would draw all the things. So the main part of this game is you collect stars to get, um, medals in, for, like, your rank for the level at the end of the level. 
but there's also five chests throughout the, each level to collect that have trophies inside them and music and various other things to collect. I don't think I'll be collecting all the trophies and I'll try to get as many gold things as I can which could make the videos longer but I think that would be what I'm trying to do. Although I'm not sure. I really am not. This game is interesting though. It's a really interesting idea. I keep tapping on the screen thinking that that's gonna make Kirby dash. I don't know why. So, going around, collecting. Oh dear, I don't think I got that. Oh, I'm out of brush, why? Why brush? I can never... I'm not that good at this game. So... Please... Don't judge me too badly. I guess. <laughs> I'm not the best, that's for sure. Although... I don't really know how many people have even played this game as of yet, so... Yeah. Still probably not the best. <laughs> For sure. Alright. Got a little secret here. Gonna get a one-up. I don't know if your lives actually continue, like, throughout playing. And I'm not gonna play on this file, so I might not worry about lives as much. But through that first area going on. It's really hard to keep track of how many stars you have because the only counter you have is two 100. And then every time you get 100, it gives you a little power which you can charge Kirby and fling him in either left or right. I'm pretty sure it's the only ways you can fling him. And he'll do that kind of dash that breaks through things that you normally couldn't. I don't think it like breaks through everything pretty much that's an obstacle, but most things. <laughs> Alright, I think there's more stars, yep. Alright. Continuing on. <clears throat> Man. Sure is bothering me, my bad. Alright. Charge up and go. Okay, see what we can do. I'll try to get as many chests as I can. Like, if I notice them, I'll try to get them, but some of them are pretty hard to get, and you only have one shot at them in an entire level, so that's why I think I'm not going to get all of them. Go over here and then turn back around, because I'm pretty sure there's a thing over here. Yep. Alright. This gray area up here, that's a place that we can't use our paintbrush. But, since we have a hundred star power thing charged up, we can fly up into wherever this is and do that. Now, I don't know if this bell really does anything. All I've noticed is that it gives you, like, 3,000 points when you ring it. I don't know if that's actually very important or not or however that's working, but I think ringing the bell might do something like at for the end of the level, but I'm not entirely sure, so my bad. There's only a few levels of which I've actually rung the bell because it's another, like, hidden thing, I guess, so that's the only reason I think it's important, is because it's hidden. Come on, get up there. Dang it. Go. Kirby. Thank you. Dash back. Do that. I think we're doing pretty good on stars here. But, better safe than sorry. I really want to get 
a lot of gold medals because there's also a challenge mode in this game and I think I'll be covering that as well. It's really not that long and so that's why I thought I'd do it. Um, it's mainly composed of one minute challenges and uh, it, I'll, I'd basically explain that later when I cover the challenge mode. But, um, yeah. Um, some of the unlock requirements for the challenges are that you have gold medals, and getting gold medals in the challenges help, but, um, getting gold medals on the levels definitely helps a lot. Alright, another chest. This is one that I actually didn't get on my actual file. So, yeah, I, I really had no idea how the game was working, really. There's apparently a chest I missed, but, uh, okay, this video is 11 minutes. I think I'm going to head for it. I'll see if it's, the, if it shows up obviously to me, I'll try to collect it, but not then I don't think I'm gonna be getting it yeah I don't know where it is so my bad <laughs> still getting some stars making sure to get that gold wait I think I have an idea oh wait no because it would have to be before that so I have no idea where that chest is great start. Alright, so what I'm going to try to get here is the uh, little book that gives you a diary entry in the paint brush girls level. I mean, diary. What am I saying? Not her level. She doesn't have a level. Alright, so we got four chests. We're going to open them up. Kirby, her... Waddle do and one of the enemies. So, and in the collection. So actually, I'm gonna look because I forget her name, and that's bothering me. Aline, I guess is what it is. So that's Aline, I guess. She's main person of this game. One of the main person, persons, I guess. So, what I'll do is actually, like, second player and stuff, but I don't have anyone else to play. Um, so I won't be covering that. So, I have an amiibo thing. I don't know exactly what it is. It's the saying that you can power up Kirby in any level. I'm assuming that just means, like, you can use his charge power infinitely. But I'm not sure if that's actually what that means. So, that's the first level. I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I might switch and do some challenges if there's a bit of time left in some later levels. Because this level is definitely longer than that last level. Because that one was just mainly to introduce you to the controls and such. Um, and then there are some boss stages which really don't take that long. So, like, the third level in a world might also include the boss. And so far, it's only been four per world. So, I think each world will be, like, three videos, but I'm not sure yet. And then it might have some challenge things mixed in, too. And since this is, like, the first episode and I did have a lot of talking and a bit of intro, I don't know how much extra time will really be involved. So, I'll show off challenge mode. I'll just do this first one here. It's just one minute. You have 15 seconds per room to get the treasure chest. There are these, um, kind of rooms in the main levels as well, where you have 15 seconds to find or collect the chest. So, I'll just show you guys what that's like. And I might include some of these in their own video, or I think I'll just mix them in, because they're little things that I might be able to put 
put at the end of an episode if there's a little extra time. So that was bad. <laughs> Not very fast. And they don't even take a minute most of the time because you have 15 seconds and a lot of them you end up having extra time in. At least that is if you actually beat them all. Come on, there we go. And some of them, you need to know pretty much the layout of the level to be able to complete it. So here we go, power up. There you go. Got it. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. That's my bad. My I've not been deleting very many things on my iPad that I record on and it had like a few of the Mario Kart things still saved on it and it ran out of space a bit so that's all challenge mode is really you just collect four chests in most of them there is an eighth one which um I'll just like show you it's uh this one right here there's one with a star on it it's mainly like that one's like play six of these one minute challenges to unlock that one with a star and there's a few challenges so I don't know oh apparently that one has two so I don't know but like as you can see it's like a lot of them are get this many gold medals to unlock so that's why I'm trying to get gold medals so that's gonna be it for this episode of Kirby's Kirby, wait a minute, it's Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I kept calling it Kirby's Rainbow Curse, but it's Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I need to get that right. I don't know why I always said that. So, that's going to be it for now. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, goodbye. I just wanted to add real quick, I'm sorry, there's a little fuzzy sound in this I recorded a few episodes. I think I recorded six parts. There is like a slight static on my microphone. I don't know why. I think it might have been rubbing against my shirt when I was playing because I have to like play on the gamepad. I don't know if my mic's actually messed up. I'm going to see if this turns out like this part turns out okay. And if it does, then I'll try to do better about making sure my mic's not doing that in the future. I'm sorry, it's going to be in the first six parts. I don't know exactly how bad it is, but, um, yeah, my bad. Um, if it is doing it in this, I'll see what I can do. I think my iPad just has a mic on it, and it'll re record my voice as I'm playing. I just don't think it'll stand out as much. I just hope my mic isn't broken. Um, don't really want to prolong this episode anymore. So I'm gonna leave. I basically just wanted to explain that's why that was happening. And hopefully I can fix it in the future for starting for World 3 on in Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. So thanks for understanding that. Um, so yeah, until that happens, I'm sorry that that's in there. My bad. <laughs>